Hello everyone, Kirby Volt here, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man ZX. On the last episode, we got the second half of Biometal Model H. And now, today we're going to be going out to the second half of Model F, going in the same order that we got the first halves in. Not going to be transporting back, we're just going to take the mission request, attack the excavators, and move on from there. A Solar Ink unit has been spotted in Area K. They're digging up something, it's big. There's a pseudodroid of the biometal fragment overseeing the operation. Head to Area K and recover the biometal from the pseudodroid. We'll take the mission. And to get to Area K, we're going to need to transport to Area B2. And we're going to be going through Area C. Because Area B, or, er, Area B is right there. Area K is not that hard to get to. I hope that I've been at least somewhat helpful and help, and, uh, Helping you navigate this place, but I have one little confession to make. We're not going to be getting everything, at least not like all the sub tanks, because, well, if that wasn't any indication, there's a sub tank in Area K. It's kind of a jerk. As to why that is, I'll be explaining that when we get to Area K. So for now, sit back and relax to the awesome tunes of Area C as we just kind of casually stroll along while not being mega-merged. Just kidding, we're mega-merging. Area K is actually not too far from here. What we need to do is just dash along here to get to a yellow door that will be taking us to Area C3. Area C3 is an area we have not been to yet, but it looks pretty darn cool, with this nice, cool city background that seems to be going away. And then, <gasps> go around the building. It's not a city anymore! Mountains, apparently. I'm not really sure, like, I guess this girl lives close to it. City outskirts, I guess? I don't know. Sorry, I shot you. Area K is just behind this red door. The dig site looks like it continues deep underground. Try to find a way down there. Alright, we'll do so. Area K! I hate this place. I, I, I want to be done here, and I want to be done with it. That is all I have to say about that. These platforms, they have spikes on them, instant death. There's water here that's kind of... kind of hurts you, I think. I don't really know. I think it hurts you, but I'm not 100% sure on that. It has geysers, it has satellite things, it's just... It makes me angry. And this isn't like, this is the... yeah, we do get hurt in the water. Just proven with science right there. And this part isn't, like, the rage-inducing part. The rage-inducing part is in a bit. Except if I get hit by the spikes in the bottom of that platform, because that would suck. I will go up here just to just kill you and take some health. Because health is nice. And why the heck not? It's there. Let's grab it. Goodbye. So, next place we'll be going to is a waterfall. Or an eruption of a geyser or something, I don't know. And down we go. First things first we're going to be doing here is fighting a mini-boss. It's a lava monster. This lava guy cannot be hurt when he's in the lava form because of this hardened head. But you can hurt the mechanical head when it's not encased in lava. You could do this with the saber, which will probably be a lot quicker. But you never know when that lava is going to re-emerge, so you have to be careful about that. Should you use the buster like I'm doing, though, it has to be a fully charged shot. Normal buster shots and partially charged buster shots will not work because they will go straight over the hitbox of that head. When it does this attack, just kind of run across and wait for the head to land so you can score some more hits on it. And I took a lot of damage there. That was very bad. Hello. We done playing? Nope. We're not done playing. I'm done playing. Bye bye And now, with the lava coming into the picture, guess what? The lava... Everywhere. Lava's instant death, so isn't that lovely? Speaking of instant death, let's head up on here for a quick second. Death spikes, you know, it must be something good if there's death spikes around. As I mentioned earlier, Area K has a sub-tank. It's one of the most convoluted, really awful, and kind of just dumb things to get in any Mega Man game I've played. How convoluted is it? 
Well, you need to go up here first, and that requires you to have either Model H or Model P. I mean, you would have them by this point, I would hope anyway. Unless you went straight to this one after doing Model F, and the first Model F stage without doing anything else. And I'm not going to go over there, because you know why? The minute you get over there, cutscene will start, and lava will start rising. You know what happens when lava rises? It tries to kill you. That This entire section is freaking balls. I hate it, and I don't really want to go through it. Now you're probably wondering, why should I let off? Because in order to get uh, the sub-tank, you need to go through that area, because then you have to go into the special area that is located around there that controls the lava flow. The lava flow can be set to slow compared to the normal setting we have it at right now, and that allows the lava in another section to be a lot slower, so then you can get the sub-tank, of which I will show you where it's located, because it's actually just around the corner. Actually, I lied about that. The place you'll be going to through that lava section is not where the sub-tank is located. That's to deactivate a switch that is uh, having a gate stay closed. It opens a gate that's back in the area where you hit the lava flow switch, and then you can get the sub-tank. It's a lot of steps for not that much of a payoff. And so now, we are going to have lava chasing us. It's chasing us from behind. Boy, do I love these sections in games, except not really, because the lava's in some depth. Should you be playing on easy mode, though, the reason why you have to do this lava chase section is because lava will fill up a pit that shows up right around this area. If you go backwards through this area, you can go through that lava, because on easy mode, lava's not instant death. Thanks, games. For here, though, it's instant death. And speaking of instant death, anything that can hit me right now is going to kill me. So anything is instant death right now, especially that lava, though. Whatever. It was, it was bound to happen. Okay, let's switch to Model H and hope that, and just pray that I can do this. It is a lot easier to do the stage should you just should you deactivate that lava flow, but doing one of those lava climb sections is a pain in the ass. Just like these are. Those lava pillars that come up, those are also technically lava, so those pillars are also instant death, like I just showed you. Yay! And so, because of this, I freaking hate this stage. This stage is a piece of crap. I, like, I get it, it's hard, and that's fine, but it's also just not fine, because I just want to have a fun time here, and I'm not having a fun time. This is not my idea of a fun time. This is the anti... anti-fun. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, so... Goal here is just... Be very careful and not get hit by anything. There we go. Yay, I'm doing it right. Except for now, because now I have to I have to purposely slow down because of the stupid lava pillars coming out, and I can't do anything about it. That's really dumb. Okay, they're down. Yay, boss time. I think I only have... That's what I thought. This is going to be fun boss time. Now, conversely to the rest of that stage... I hate the stage so much, and I'm just... I feel that we're not getting that sub-tank, but you good riddance. I'm not... I don't... I don't... I don't care that much. This boss is kind of a joke. Hmm. Oh, it's you. You're the one going around stealing the biometal. I can feel your presence a mile away. Just drilling straight through the ground to me. Lord Serpent said there was the even more powerful biometal deep beneath the surface, but nothing's coming up. Our model F suit drawer, Flemo. I'll take you down, and the biometal you stole will be back, safe in our hands. And I have no idea what kind of voice I was doing there. Flemo! His weakness are those cannons that he has. They are kind of hard not to hit. A lot of his attacks deal with digging, as you can probably imagine. The debris will hurt you, but mostly he'll do this one little fire attack, and it's pretty easy to dodge, actually. You can destroy the debris as you could with most bosses anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. 
In fact, Flamel's kind of the was weird, like, how do you not hit his weak point boss? Because, yeah, we're hitting it quite a lot. The only thing to watch out for is that one attack, and he's dead. Yep, he's just, you know, he's dead. <laughs> I see now. You want the one I sensed? It must have been Model W, or is it something else entirely? Bye bye. Ah, <laughs> what a waste a loser like that had my power. Sorry, but it'll be some time before I can recover that password. Don't worry, I'll get it for you. So yeah, that boss probably went over a bit too quickly, so I apologize for that, but yeah, it isn't like... It's... How do you not hit that weak point? That weak point is so easy to hit, and he's always like, almost always facing you. And when he's even doing the drilling thing, like, you'll hit that part, because that's the large part of his hitbox. So, yeah, that may have gotten over fast, but he's a pretty easy boss. And I think that's a nice compensation, considering what the stage is. If you get the sub-tank, on normal mode or hard mode, kudos to you. I am sorry I'm not that good of a player. Anywho's. Let us mission reports. And with that, we have the second half of Model F. Yeah, it's not it's not great, because if we look at her... Yeah, see that little tiny little sliver of not use energy? That's how much we got, because it was a level 1 victory. But also, I don't care. So, <laughs> there is that. I know it's not very nice for me to say, but, you know... I hate this stage, I'm sorry. <laughs> Anywho's, that's the end of this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you're having a great day, and I will see you on the next one. Until then, ciao!